So a lot of people speculate that we might see an edge drop from base or we might not. But we're not going to discuss that. What we're going to do is we're going to like jump straight into the details and I'll show you how we can qualify in case the airdrop will happen at some point. So first of all, we're going to use the official bridge and I always tell you guys to use the official bridge because the team makes money off of the official bridge and also they make money through the fees. So it's also good to use that in case they're going to use the official bridge as one of these criteria. So what we're going to do is to bridge, let's say, 0.1. And I recommend you guys to use a little bit more because you want to create some volume and later on you can withdraw that money. So you need to be prepared that over time you need to spend, let's say, 20 to $30 for a good farm account. So let's say I already have that funds in my account. So the next thing you want to do is go to chain list and on chain list you want to add the network to your MetaMask. So connect your wallet and then you want to click on add to MetaMask. So the bridge is going to take about a few minutes. So once you're going to see your funds in your wallet, you can proceed with our strategy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to mint that fund. You want to connect your MetaMask wallet to the website. And in here it's really simple because it's very intuitive and you can go ahead and mint a bunch of random stuff. So if you're going to click on minting now, you can search through all of different NFTs that can mint essentially on base. So you want to click on the chains and select base. And then here you can find a free NFTs that you want to mint them. Uh, some of these NFTs, they're going to cost you money, but some of them are also free. So let's say I'm going to mint the first one or the second one. Um, so you can click on mint this NFT. So once you got that, we also have the coin earning, which is the free to mint. So you can go click on that and just select mint. So that was also shared by Brian uh, Armstrong, which is the uh, founder of Coinbase. So he shared that on Twitter. So maybe it has something to do with the airdrop in the future. And a lot of people hinted that it might be something in the future. So we're just going to go straight into the uh, airdrop farming. And we're not going to speculate whether it's worth doing that or not. So that's basically my point of view. You never know. You can only farm. There's no harm in it. So uh, you might lose like $20 for farming that. But, you know, the returns are insane. What you can make off of the burnt $20, right? So another thing you can do, you can go to layer 3. And here we have a really cool guide basically what you have to do to farm this airdrop so we're not going to go through all of these because otherwise it would take too much time uh, but it's really simple really intuitive so let's say you're going to click on the first one and it's going to show you what you need to do so let's say uh, you're going to mint this so just open it up and it's going to bring you to this nft where you have to mint this art uh, so you have so you need to connect the wallet so let's say we're going to do it so once you connect the wallet i'm going to click on the mint and of course guys not on financial advice uh, you always have to do your own research before you're going to use some of these platforms but I trust it because it's from layer 3. So now we minted that. You can go back to layer 3 website and you can click on verify. So now we've got some XP points and we also got this cube. Also on layer 3, when you're going to complete this quest, you're also going to be minting another NFT, which is called cube. And it looks like it has something to do with the airdrop, right? Because it's sort of like the campaign on layer 3, when you're going to mint this, all of different NFTs. And maybe also at some point, the layer 3 will do an airdrop based on the level that you have on the platform. So I definitely recommend you guys to complete all of different quests that you can see in here. So now we're going to drift off a little bit from the quest and we're going to go ahead and use some DEXs. One of these DEXs is Pancake Swap. So you'll need to first go ahead and connect to base, then connect your wallet, connect your MetaMask. Very, very simple as always we farm. Then you want to click on the trade now. So once you're going to do it, let's say we want to swap it to USDC. So select the amount that you want to swap it to. So let's say we're going to make some decent volume using these DEXs. I recommend you guys to do at least 10,000 volume if you can afford to do that. Because it's always as one of these main criteria. But if you can go above that, you can try to do at least 1,000. It's going to be definitely more than majority of users. So the another one that we have is Aerodrome. So in here, we're going to swap our USDC to Aero. And quickly about them, this is the biggest TVL on base. So the biggest exchange. So it's always good to use the top contracts. So what you need to do essentially here, once we have our USDC, you want to click on allow USDC. So it's going to uh, set up the max spending limit for our uh, stable coins. So click continue and approve it. And once you have that, you can go ahead and click on the swap button. And now again, we can select the entire amount. We can swap our Aero and we can swap it to uh, Ethereum. So we can have our Ether and use it on the and other platforms. So the another one is Uniswap. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows about Uniswap right now. So you just want to be on base network. And here, just select the amount that you want to spend. So let's say 0 0.0075. And we're going to swap it to USDC. You can swap also to another tokens like, you know, 1inch, Balancer, any other tokens that you really want. So then you can swap it back. So from USDC, we're going to swap it to Ethereum. The another one is Seamless Markets, which is the money market on base. So in here, you can supply your Ethereum. You can also supply a bunch of different stable coins like DAI, USDC, or wrap liquid stake to Ethereum. So you can supply it there for some time, let's say for a week, and then you can come back and remove it. I'm not going to do it now. I always like to supply it when I finish my route. 
I can leave it there for a couple of days and I don't have to worry about this much. I can come back, let's say, in the next couple of weeks and I can remove it and do some other interactions. Another one, we have Moonwell, which is the another lending protocol. So you can um, lend, you can borrow, you can stake. Pretty much similar as the other money markets. The another one is Extrofy, another money market. So you can supply your USDC, you can farm it, you can stake it. Another one is Beefy, which is the multi-chain yield optimizer. So in here, let's say you have some IRO and Ethereum. So if you want to click on that one, you can go ahead and deposit some assets to the pool. So another cool, useful protocol. The another one, we have Stargate. So in Stargate, if you're farming multiple airdrops, I definitely recommend you guys to use this one. Let's say you're farming Scroll and or Ziki Sync or Lanya. You can use this protocol to essentially transfer from one network to another one. It's going to build a ton of volume for your airdrops. So I definitely recommend you guys to use this one. So let's say we're going to select base on the top. And we're going to send Ethereum and we're going to send it to one of these airdrops that we're farming. So to Linea, right? So once you have that, you can go ahead and select the amount that you want to send. So let's say we're going to send 0 0.07 just for sake of the volume and also activity. And you will see the estimated fee for the transaction. And it's going to take a few minutes to confirm the transaction. So we're going to get a pop up in a second and you'll see this um, transfer is going to take just above one minute. So it's really time efficient and you can do from one network to another one, from Linea to base, from base somewhere else. I really recommend you guys to use Stargate because it's one of the most important technologies that we have. So a lot of people also farming uh, layer zero. So if you use Stargate, you also will qualify for another airdrop, which is layer zero that everyone waits for. And they hinted something that they might drop the token um, somewhere before June. But we're going to find out soon. So it might happen that you're going to be qualified for two airdrops using essentially farming essentially one protocol. You can go ahead and you can and you can bridge from Lanya and we can get it back to base so we're gonna send 0.07 then we're gonna send it back to base the another one i want to use is sushi which is also dex and cross chain swap so make sure you are on the base layer and then you want to connect your metamask and here whether you want to use cross chain swap you can do it so let's say you want to swap it from uh, base you can bridge it to over to let's say optimism but we know but we're gonna keep it simple so you can uh, toggle that off and we're gonna uh, do it on base so just make sure you have the base network selected and then from ethereum you can bridge it to any of these tokens so let's say i'm just gonna keep it simple and do it usdc so i'm gonna do point of one and click on the swap button so uh, like i mentioned guys before providing liquidity is also really important so first we'll need to swap some ethereum to usdc now we're gonna swap some ethereum to usdc so that will be hundred dollars worth of usdc and now from this fifty dollars we're gonna swap to some aero tokens so just allow the usdc and then you want to click on the swap button so then you want to go to dashboard and you want to click on deposit and stake and now we can select the aero per and also usdc so just allow these two tokens and then click on the deposit button and now once i are done you can click and stake your assets so uh, you can stake your uh, entire amount that you want so just allow it and then you want to click on stake so that's completed you can leave it there for a while let's say maybe a week or two and then you can come back to it and you can remove that so just make sure you guys focus on layer three quests because this is going to help you to reach as many different contracts as possible so you can just complete them or you can just you know go one by one you can do let's say five this week you can do five next week and that will be pretty much done so you're going to be earning these cubes and also you're going to be earning some points on layer 3. So it's a win-win situation. You're going to meet a ton of different criteria. You're going to make a nice decent volume. Activity over time. So hopefully you're going to qualify for top allocation. And if you guys found this video useful. Hit that thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below what you think about this video. And follow me on Twitter. Because this is where I update you with some info. And I'll see you in the next one.